Here's an ESPN sports science breakdown of one of the most devastating weapons in all of sports. The first serve of Serena Williams. Trying to return her 120 mile per hour serve has incredible challenges. The human brain takes 100 milliseconds to process visual stimuli and to locate the ball in space. It takes another 75 milliseconds to calculate spin, speed, and direction. A tennis player needs 50 milliseconds to decide where to move, and then another 25 milliseconds for the brain to send the signals that trigger movement. But by this point, Serena's serve has already crossed the net, and her opponent has less than four tenths of a second before the ball arrives. That's the same amount of time a major league batter has to react to a 90 mile per hour fastball. But speed isn't the only reason Serena has 85 aces in this year's tournament. Her real secret is disguise. If we overlay footage of two different serves, her body position, toss, and even contact are astonishingly consistent. But in the final 90 degrees before contact, Serena changes the angle of her racket face roughly 12 degrees in about two hundredths of a second. That's as fast as a single flap of the wing of an average hummingbird. In that split second change in racket angle, disguises whether Serena's serve is up the middle or to the corner of the box, a range that can force her opponent to potentially move up to nine feet in either direction. And since Serena's opponents don't start moving until the ball's already at the net, they need to cover that nine feet in less than four tenths of a second. Usain Bolt doesn't cover that much ground that quickly coming out of the blocks. And Serena's second serve is no less amazing, averaging 88 miles an hour during the tournament. That's one mile per hour faster than the average second serve of men's finalist, Andy Murray. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.